Most people spend their lives asking how things work, but almost no one asks the question that truly fractures the mind. Why does anything exist at all? Not, why are you here? Not, why is the universe here? It's something deeper, more uncomfortable, more impossible. Why is there something instead of absolutely nothing? Because if you think about it, nothing should be the default state of reality. No energy, no space, no time, no physics, no logic, not even the concept of nothing, just non-existence. So why isn't that the case? To even attempt an answer, we have to look at three of the strangest ideas in modern science. 1. The universe may be the lowest energy state of reality. In quantum physics, even a perfect vacuum isn't truly empty. Space boils with unseen particles popping in and out of existence. This bizarre phenomenon is called quantum fluctuations, and it suggests a disturbing idea. Maybe nothing is unstable. Maybe emptiness self-destructs, and the result is reality. So instead of asking, why did something appear? Maybe the real question is, how could nothing possibly survive? 2. The universe might not have a beginning, just a boundary. Stephen Hawking once said, if you go far enough back in time, asking what came before the universe is like asking what's north of the North Pole. Some physicists believe that time itself didn't start. It emerged like a wave forming on still water. In that view, the universe didn't begin. It transitioned from timelessness into time. Which means the question, what existed before everything, may not even make sense. 3. Consciousness might not be a late accident, but a requirement. Here's where things get uncomfortable. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics, especially the Wheeler Participatory Universe, suggest that reality doesn't fully exist until something observes it. Not humans, specifically. Just awareness. Observation. Measurement. If that's true, then existence might require consciousness. And consciousness might require existence. A loop. A circle with no beginning. Not created. Not designed. Not random. Just necessary. So maybe the universe doesn't exist because something made it. Maybe it exists because non-existence was impossible. Because the moment there was even the possibility of awareness, reality unfolded to make room for it. Maybe the universe didn't appear into nothing. Maybe nothing became the universe. So the next time you stare at the sky and wonder what all of this means, remember. The greatest mystery isn't how everything began. It's the chilling possibility that there was never another option. Existence was inevitable. Before you go, I want to know what you think. Does the universe require observers to exist? Or would it be here with or without us? Drop a comment below. And if you want more content like this, hit like subscribe, and turn on notifications. There's much more to explore.